Hey everyone, signing in real quick. Um, so, what did I want to say? I don't know if it's just me, but I've been having like that pregnancy brain now that it's confirmed. I don't know, it's probably all in my head, but um, my symptoms have pretty much gone away. Uh, I've been praying on it, I'm feeling better, thank God, about everything. I went to my acupuncture today, and weirdly, I, I have the runs. TMI, sorry, but um, yeah, it's weird because I've been constipated this whole time, and then now, well, this morning I just couldn't stop, and it kind of worried me because I couldn't just do it, just, you know, tell the difference between if it was AF cramps and something's happening, you know, that I'm not gonna even talk up, but. Or, you know, but I'm, anyways, long story short, I'm glad that part of it is over with and i just been sticking to clear soup. Um, aside from that, like I said, my headaches is pretty much gone. Uh, my boobs are not sore. I'm not as tired as I was. Like, all this lack of symptoms was really getting to me, but my dizziness <clears throat> still comes and goes. Um... And I think I'm having little pings or waves of nausea. Uh, but it, like I said, it could be all in my head. I, once I start to feel it, I'm just like, wait, is it in my head or, you know? But it, you know, I don't know. Um, now, oh, I know what I wanted to say. So instead of waiting till Monday, I don't know what I was thinking to tell my doctor. Yeah, we'll just do it on Monday to push it for an extra day. Who am I kidding? When reality really set in was like, I cannot wait until Monday for... Why wait? If I can find out sooner, you know, I'm excited. So anyways, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. So I called the clinic back after a couple hours to reschedule it back to um, Sunday. So I'm going to be going in tomorrow morning for the second beta. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, I've been praying so hard uh, to leave it to God. And I I am. every Because like, I sit here. And I, waiting, waiting for a darling. Um, I was watching her video. The latest one and I was in tears. I'm sure a lot of you guys, whoever did that did watch it was in tears and I'm so glad for her outcome. Um, what a blessing and what a miracle. Um, but it's true what she says in there. When miscarriages is all you know, once you feel or you see something that, you know, is not supposed to happen in pregnancy, your mind automatically goes to miscarriages because that's all it knows. Like I said, with um, my losses, I automatically start to panic and I start to think, gosh, it might be happening again. And then I pray and I pray. Today, during my acupuncture session, um, I told myself that I'm driving myself nuts. And I know that it's not good for me and, you know, the pregnancy, but I, I couldn't help it. Today, I realized, like, I found it in me that I'm not going to, I'm going to do my very, very best to not stress out anymore about, oh, what was that thing? What is this ache? Why am I not feeling these symptoms? Why am I feeling like this? Like, it's gotten really, I think I'm doing too much because it's gotten to the point where I'm scared to poop. I'm scared to talk loud. I'm scared to laugh. Just, I'm going crazy so I prayed my last you know craziness to God if I can say that um that I'm just gonna give it to him all the way if I somehow somewhere decide to bring the worry and concern back on myself because I'm only human please forgive me and just take it and replace all that craziness and the worries and concerns with just positive thoughts and lately it's been working y'all so yeah that's that's where I'm at. I go in tomorrow for my second betas, and um, I don't know. I'll probably sign back in tomorrow, but if not, I think after tomorrow's beta, my 
clinic makes you wait a week to repeat the third beta and then they schedule the um the ultrasound but um what else i think that's pretty much it i'm feeling okay i think my energy is coming back because i'm not knocking out every time i'm coming out of work anymore and i'm not knocking out every chance i get anymore I'm more up and moving now. Um, excuse me. I think that has to do with um, the lack of symptoms or maybe me praying and leaving it to God. So now I just feel like I'm invincible. <laughs> the power of Jesus. Oh, man. Um, I'm trying to think. What else? I can't thank y'all. I think that's it. My little bits of nausea, but I'm not even sure. My headaches come and go. My dizziness comes and goes. I'm not stuffy in the nose anymore. I'm not, um, my boobs don't hurt no more. I'm not sleeping as much anymore either. Um, I think that's it. Um, oh, I got brave. I got brave and I downloaded um, a pregnancy app. And it says that I'm four weeks and two days. And I, I found a, a site that um, calculates how far along I am from transfer day. It says four weeks and two days. So it's got to be right. But I, for some reason, feel like I'm five weeks. I don't know how. But I just can't wait till ultrasound. I'm getting so ahead of myself. But I'm so excited for ultrasound. Just to see how many is there. I want to see... I want to make it there because with all of my losses is from the time I find out till ultrasound. It never makes it to ultrasound. So I do ask for prayer in that area because I think from now until ultrasound, I'll feel like it, once I get to ultrasound and see that everything's okay, I think that'll be a big relief for me because I've never made it that far with all four. So... Um, please pray for me on that area, in that area, sorry. Um, and I think that's it. I want to wish, uh, oh, oh, wait, wait, um, something is going on with this YouTube thing where it's not letting me like a comment or respond to a comment without making a Google Plus. I did it before, I made a Google Plus page before, but then somehow one of my coworkers came up to me and was like, oh, Moni, yeah, I saw your page with you and Franny, and you know, I didn't even ask if he see, that, that's the thing, I, I'm not ready for people in my workplace, my family, a few people in my family know, you know, a few people in Franny's family know, but that's it. I don't want to make it public yet until I'm in the clear. So when that happened, I kind of freaked out and I took down my Google Plus page, which led me to a lot of other problems on YouTube. But it was doing all right until lately. It's just causing me problems. So I want to thank everybody for everything. And um, it is the next day. I went for my betas this morning, my second beta. And my portal just got updated. Um, my numbers are 2496 from this morning. Uh, they want me... Uh, wait. I'm more than happy with those numbers. What I'm kind of worried about, I guess, what I'm questioning, um, they want me to decrease my estrays. Pills, um, from three times a day to two times a day and I don't know I don't know the importance of estrogen in pregnancy um, I don't want to decrease the estrogen pills and then have something go wrong I'm not saying I don't trust my doctor I do but I've been taking estrogen three times a day for a little over for a little over three weeks now and I was even doing them vaginally twice a day um, in order to get my lining to build up to where it needed to be for the transfer. And then now that they're decreasing it, I'm kind of worried that something might go left field. You know what I'm saying? Since my body really wasn't making it on its own. 
or at least that's what I think. If anyone can enlighten me or they have any idea on why they're decreasing, you know, my my S race pills, please let me know. I'm getting a little worried about that. But aside from that, I'm happy. Um, today I'm crampy. This couch has been my favorite spot since transfer, so here I am again, and I'm cramping. I'm telling you, once I feel some sort of cramping, I lay my butt right down. I don't want to take no chances. I don't want to... No, I don't. Um, so I'm just laying down, waiting for the cramps to go away, or just here taking it. Um, I noticed this whole time, aside from the time that I made the video that I was cramping, in the middle of cooking dinner after work a few days ago. Um, I don't think I was cramping. I think it was all back aches. But today I'm cramping, that's for sure. And that day I was cramping. I was sure of that too. So I'm just going to lay it low until I feel better. And we go to work tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to try to rest as much as I can today. Uh, my next beta is on the 30th. And I'm sorry, y'all. My mind is all over the place. Not really all over the place. I just have a blank mind. I want to say lately, that's how it's been with me. One minute, I'm so focused. The next minute, I'm like, okay, what was I going to say? <laughs> but, um, let's see. Anything else since I'm on here? How have my symptoms been? I think my sim my symptoms are evolving, if that even makes sense, but most of them is gone, and my boobs don't hurt as much, but they definitely feel fuller, and they hurt to touch it sometimes, and then sometimes I don't feel nothing, so that's strange, um, and I don't want to eat, but then I notice if I don't eat, I'm going to get cramps, and then that's what freaks me out, so then I try to put something in my stomach once I start to feel the cramps come on then yeah i'm grabbing something to eat but aside from that nothing else peeing a lot more the headache comes and goes not even barely for today i'm just cramping cramping and i noticed since maybe even before i got my bfp I, but i blamed it on the sickness because i got really sick but i've been cold no matter how warm I turn up the heat in the house. I'm freezing. Even in the car, I'm freezing. Um, I know I'm kind of thinking I'm probably getting uh, anemic again because with all my past pregnancies, I always get anemic when I get pregnant. So I don't know. We'll see where that goes. But um, if anybody knows, well, if anybody has any idea why the doctor would decrease my um, S-Race pills, um, please let me know. Um, like I said, I don't want to do it and then have something go wrong. And I'm going to call the clinic and ask them about it, but I just wanted to know what you guys' take on it was. But I think that's it for now. Everyone have a blessed day and take care.